Welcome to this week's episode. Um, firstly, what we did last week, we explored the beautiful underwater of the Bahamas. This week, we visit Wardrick Wells, Norman's Key, Long Key, and Highborn Key. So stay tuned, it's going to be a fun video. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. We arrived here at Exumas Land Park and Sea Park, or Land and Sea Park, or something like that. They say there is iguanas there, so... And apparently over here is lots of good snorkel opportunities, emerald rocks or something like that. But it is gloomy cold not a good day to go hunt for iguanas but let us see in our search for iguanas but look how cool this is okay, so we can't find the path we walked all over that island, but absolutely no iguanas. At least I got my 10,000 steps in. And then we took the dinghy and we went around to the other side, but still no iguanas. We got drenched. And we got the enclosures down. A little bit late, but it's down. And it is terrible outside. Just look at that. The AIS is on. Let me switch on the radar as well so I can see the boats without AIS. What's happening? Oh, right in front of us is something. Can you guys see something? Shit, right in front of us. Damn. Okay. What's a plan of action? He doesn't have AIS and I don't think he sees me. Are we going to try port to port? Yes, I can do port to port. I think you can see just next to the spinnaker, there's the boat. <laughs> oh, like a ghost out of the mist. But I think I just saw another boat here, so I let the radar track it. But now you can see it's very difficult because the waves is also, if you look here, the wind is from this direction. So the waves is from that direction and the faces of the waves is also being picked up by the radar. There it is. It's another catamaran. In this weather, no AIS. Ships in the mist. Yeah, there's another boat. <laughs> oh, I picked up another radar image. These ones are at anchor, but that one I was not sure because this is an anchorage. Oh, well, it looks like the people is hiding away. So I said to the radar, acquire that target, and then I saw it's moving, just like this one that just passed us. And that is less than two miles, one and a half miles. And I'm not sure you guys can see it, but it is another boat under sail. Again, one and a half miles to check him out. It's not cool. So I've started both engines, the currents and the wind and the sea state was moving the bows all over the place. It was just like, then we laughing, then we, and even when I hand steered, it was so difficult to stay on course. And I'm not sure whether it's a sea state or the currents or the wind because every now and then the wind will just go up like wow like crazy this is my parent wind here uh, now it looks fine <laughs> but i've got some nice bean soup with lots of meat in it and nice it's all thanks to Pietro. And she's having salad. <laughs> Green salad. Green salad. Thank you, 
So we've anchored off Normanski and there's a leopard 45, here's a leopard 45, there's a leopard 45, and there's a leopard camelcat. And of course, Sisu. So this is leopard country. We saw these three roofs on maps and over there somewhere is the restaurant and the runway is right here. Okay. <laughs> we anchor Tepex with a downfall, so hopefully the downfall will keep Tepex there. And we are off to explore the island. Oh, mainly looking for a restaurant. She's still here, but I don't think it's because of the anchor. So I wedged this anchor in completely. I even dig it in. Just look this stupid anchor. That will never set. And it was digging here. And it just drag all away. We need another dinghy anchor and it will not be this stupid damn for thing. If it goes like this, it will never set. Never. We arrive at yet another wreck of Escobar. In 1978, Norman Ski was used as a logistics center for a Colombian drug cartel after being purchased by Carlos Leder, the right-hand man of Pablo Escobar, Colombia's most infamous drug lord. He expanded the key small airstrip to fit his growing fleet. He smuggled shipments of cocaine destined for the U.S. market. In 80, his, this routine flight transporting cocaine went horribly wrong and the Curtis C-46 Commando missed the runway. The World War II era aircraft crashed into the key shallow sandbags, but miraculously there were zero casualties and the millions of dollars worth of narcotics were salvaged. We don't have a fluffy mic, so sorry for that. It's still a diving GoPro. This is the island. Hopefully Tepec will stay there for this while. And Escobar wreck is over there. And that is one palm key. I think I need to rename it now. Just look at this. Yes, even a nice bench in the park. But definitely more than one palm tree. A couple of them here. Yeah. Uh oh. This was good. For Ron and Alida who love these items. We just left at anchor. That was a quite nice anchorage at the end. <laughs> uh, Pietro is busy taking us out. I see just lots of rocks in front of us. So I hope she knows where she's going. Yep. This was Norman Ski. So now we are on our way to that island over there. We just saw a massive array circling Sisu, but we're not sure it's coming this way now, it's turned away. But there was other bigish sunfish that's also circling. Huh. Let's see if we can show you guys.
We anchored here off Highborn Key. It's a very nice anchorage, a little bit windy, but look at these guys just coming past here at freakishly high speed. And another one. So don't dive your anchor when you're here because these guys, <laughs> they just come at super high speed. And then of course, we have all of these wakes. Check this quicks coming. So another one just coming past at super high speed. Don't know why. But check now how, we, how it affects Sisu. It's like we're going pretty crazy just <laughs> because of these wakes. And I, so over there is the iguanas. Over here is nurse sharks and a little bit further down <laughs> is the stingrays and turtles so they just come in the whole day and then I think around afternoon <laughs> they will be coming back and it's like right through the anchorage it's not even we've got a very big neighbor that goes right through the anchorage We've got fancy spansy neighbors this time. Well, this, I think this is the closest we've ever anchored next to a big super yacht. Yeah, we so anchored then, actually together. We did not know where they're going to anchor. They, um, and that Bali. So we were three like looking at the same anchor spot. Anyway, so we are on our way to Highborn Key. Marina around the corner where you can see that moss sticking out there. And hopefully we get to get into the water with some nurse sharks. Doing good. We're in, inside Highborn Key Marina. Very clean and very deep. Yeah, it's a private island. Guys, you have to get out of the visa, but you can't come along the shore. So they ask us for a health visa here yeah, before we can get onto the island. Just look at this. Luan. Hi Luan. How do we with you? Copy crop? Copy crop? Huh. He's looking at me as if he doesn't understand that language. What are you doing? Are these your friends? Palm trees. White beaches. What else do you want? And this is where they clean the fish. And this is the reason why here is so many shots. Crescendo. <laughs> very, very nice place. You've got a beautiful view. And you guys cannot see it, but there's some bi people bathing. And there's a shark already inside the bathing area. And there's one outside. There's actually one, two, three, four. And I think they're going to come in. <laughs> and because they are nurse sharks, everyone wants to touch them and feel them. But we know there's also a bull shark in between. Yeah, and a bull shark is for South Africans is a Zambezi shark. They are vicious. I think they will attack. Definitely recommend it. Just bring a big wallet. Oh, and that is the Kota. 
Thank you. See you soon. See you soon. I'll be tonight. Ah, we will. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> He's looking for a white South African wife. He thought Pietro was available. I just, I just don't think he said that South African girls are very. I just spoke to him and he said South African girls are the most beautiful. I said, you get all these girls coming in here, why South Africa? Why pick South Africa? And he said, they are just the most beautiful girls ever. There you have it from the mouth of Dakota. the Bahamian. Dakota. From Dakota. But we do have beautiful women. And we do. Pietro is the most beautiful of them all. And then we finally come then to Iguanas, and guess what, on Iguana Beach, just north of Highborn, and there were hundreds of them. I think it's time for a beer. We brought our beers between the Iguanas. Check. What a nice setting and <laughs> that guy also wants a beer but cheers guys I just need to check behind my shoulder <laughs> yeah. If he jumps on my back I'm gonna scream like a beer He's also <laughs> interested in a beer <laughs> It is not a cool word A beer cool word That's a wrap guys, hope you liked it. We are almost done with the Bahamas, so stay tuned for more. And a big shout out of course to all our patrons. Thank you guys, we really appreciate it.